Um, Eric Decker with the Athens Messenger, AJ, just a complete opposite from the start of last year. Just how was it tonight? How are you feeling on the court? Um, I was feeling pretty good. Um, my teammates were putting me in great positions, and the crowd just boosted up 10 times. So I'm saying that um, we came out there prepared, and we came out and did what we had to do, and we got the dub. You know, 18, we expected a close game, but we came out and did everything. We did the small things, um, made the right passes. We um, had the mental toughness. We boxed out. Um, we just did all the small things to get the win today. Um, so AJ again, um, you played a lot of the second half with three or four fouls. Um, did that have any effect on just how you were playing, especially defensively? I mean, mentally, it might get you a little bit, but the only thing, the only difference I'll say defensively is just play with no hands, beat them to the spot, and don't try to foul. So I think that's what I tried to do um, when I had the four fouls, um, and luckily I didn't foul out. <laughs> uh, Crowd at WWB, Elmore, this one's for you. Uh, there's been a lot of noise about this team's size, but for you personally, you play a lot bigger than what you are. Mm -hmm. uh, what's your mentality when you're attacking the rim, going up against those bigger guys? Um, all week, uh, coach was saying we got to be the tougher team, and you know we got to play bigger than the size. You know, obviously we may not have the size of other teams, but I feel like you got to have um, heart over height. You know, many times, and I feel like we executed that well today. You know, we boxed out like AJ said. We were just tougher overall, and we were able to get the dub that way. Uh, Andrew Bowlby, WUB. It's a pretty physical game. A lot of, a lot of uh, fouls, a lot of hits. How do you guys think gets held up with the physical conditions? Um, I feel like the way we practice and the way we uh, prepared, you know, leading up to this game, I feel like that, um, you know, I feel like it prepared us the perfect way to be ready for a physical game like that. So all week, like I said before, you know, coach said we got to be physical because we're playing a physical team, you know, and they're a very physical defensive team as well. So he knew, he said we, that he said that we have to be the uh, more physical team from the jump and we did that. Um, I mean, this can be for either of you, but. I think in the first half as a team, you guys only had like three assists and then ended with um, 12. So um, was that kind of like something that you guys discussed at halftime, just kind of spreading the ball around more? I mean, overall, we want to uh, be a team that moves the ball well. So I think the three assists, it was just us. We passed it, and since they were denying, we had the wide open gaps, and that's what opened it up for us. So I'd say um, moving on to the second half, they played more conservative, played more in the gap, so we drove. We drew, we drew like three, four people, and we made the right passes, and that's how we bumped the three to 12. Uh, either one of you can answer this, but obviously the 18-0 run at the end of the first half is huge going into the break. What was just kind of the vibes on the on the sidelines? Just what was the energy level with the team during that? Mm -hmm. um, well, when you got a great crowd out like we had tonight, you know, it's contagious. I feel like it feeds off to the bench as well, and then... Once we see the bench going too, just like the crowd is, I feel like we all see that and we all get even motivated even more, you know, to uh, play a lot harder. So everybody was just sharing the ball. You know, we got a pretty deep team and we understand that we have a lot of players that can put the ball in the hoop. So once we just got to sharing that, everybody just got to having fun. Everybody was smiling and we just was flowing from that point on. Thanks. Uh, for either of you guys as well, 17 turnovers you guys caused today. Just talk a little bit about your performance. I think being a team with starting with four guards that um, provided us to pressure up because um, we have we have me Elmore uh, Miles Reef Jalen we're all um, are long got quick hands so I think that played a factor into it um, the ball pressure and then also being the gaps um, really discouraged them from playing their offense and I think that um, helped us um, get the win today. I can just throw one more for you, AJ. You seem like you're in a great mood. Obviously, you're healthy to start the season. How's it feel? Oh, it feels great. It feels great. I've um, been trying to eat right, um, trying to get stronger, and just be here for my team. Anything else, Thanks, guys. Appreciate y'all. Awesome. Yeah, number, number one, I think an uh, awesome crowd tonight. You know, really pleased to see the turnout, student section, the band, cheer, dance, just making this place an unbelievable atmosphere. And, uh, you know, we, I thought they really got into it, really our guys fed off their emotion. And, uh, you know, it was a great team win for 40 minutes. We knew we'd have to play. It would be a tough physical battle. Uh, coming in, you know, taking care of the basketball is going to be big. You know, getting to the free throw line was going to be big. And uh, we did both of those. Uh, Eric Decker with the Athens Messenger. Uh, you forced 17 turnovers overall, 11 of those in the first half, especially in the first 10 minutes there. So how important and how pleased are you with the defensive energy, especially on night one? Yeah, I thought early, uh, Eric, we, we were a little slow in our rotations. You know, we talked about that, I think, the second media timeout. 
and because they're they're a very good driving team. You know, they get in the paint. That's what they do. Uh, put a lot of pressure on you defensively. And when our rotation came over, we didn't have the cover down, the weak side, you know, action that we needed. And I thought once we started doing that, that's when we got those 50-50 balls, turned uh, those turnovers into points. You know, stretched it from you know six eight points to whatever it was 18-20. and um, you know, I thought it was really big for us. Um, Bobby Keegan with the post. So AJ Brown tonight obviously played phenomenally, but also he played a lot of the second half in foul trouble. Um, what is it about AJ that kind of gives you that trust to keep him playing out there with three or four fouls? Yeah, I think you know at some point you got to let them play through it to see how they respond and, and understand. Uh, it's a tough team to you know, go against because they put so much pressure on you defensively. And we have multiple guys in foul trouble. Uh, you know, Sharif got a couple early fouls. But I thought our guys did a great job at the end. You know, we knew they were going to drive us. They, we, we knew they were going to jump into us, you know, create the contact. And, uh, you know, we made enough plays probably the last 10, 12 minutes. You know, the first eight to 10, you know, we knew they were going to transition. We knew they were going to, you know, drive at us, rebound the ball. But you know AJ and Elmore, you know this this game was built for those two. You know just the toughness piece, the physical, to have two sophomores like that step up the way they did, uh, was obviously really big for us. Uh, in Crowley with WAB, my next question was going to be about Elmore. You're starting four guards. How good is it to see the way that Elmore attacks the rim despite his size and his ab uh, ability, excuse me, to finish around? The rim? Yeah, that's it's kind of that's kind of who he is. You know he's just a tank in there and. You know, he, he's got an uncanny ability to make tough shots, you know, a little off balances, one foot floaters, but he's a strong kid too. So, you know, him taking it in there, you know, was big just for us to collapse. And I thought early in the game, you know, we knew their pressure was going to take us out of offense. So you, you got to make basketball plays. So our guys were getting in the paint, making the extra pass. That's how we got the early lead. Uh, Andrew Bowlby, WAB. Troy was using like a full court press pretty much the entire game. How did you think your team dealt with? I thought it was phenomenal. You know, we knew coming in it was going to be a 40-minute. You know, they may, normally man press you, uh, but late in the game they kind of diamond us. They two-two won us. You know, they had to try to mess, mix it up somehow, some way to muck the game up. You know, just run at us in the half court to trap us, and to come out of here with seven turnovers against that pressure for 40 minutes. You know, that was a huge key coming in. And if you look at the points off turnovers, it was 18 to one. You know, normally, you know, they're 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 18 points um, off of turnovers. So that was that was a big part of the win. Um, you guys end up 27 to 32 at the line tonight. You have five different players go uh, perfect with at least four. Jalen Hunter, eight for eight from the line. Just how proud are you of the team to kind of have the mentality for a free throw game, especially? Yeah, that, that was a big part of our offense, too. We, you know, we knew that the way they played, we had to drive the ball. We knew the help was going to come over, and we had to shot fake. And it's going to be the same thing Saturday against Cleveland State, very similar team. And, you know, to the ability to get in there um, 17 times in the first half, 15 in the second half, you know, that, that was big. And obviously making them was even bigger. Okay. Um, I think in the first half you had 10 different players on the court at any given time. Just talk a little bit about the depth of this team and how you're able to utilize that. Yeah, the game's a lot easier with 10 guys in the court. You know, we can double team everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, I think our depth is good. And like, like I told Aiden and Ike and AJ Sheldon, they're going to get their shot. You know, we, you got to stay ready. You got to be prepared. And, you know, just to have those guys come in and, and everybody make a valuable, you know, impact on the game, um, you know, that, that was big. Uh, I kind of want to ask, especially um, one of the only, I guess, downsides you could think about is getting out rebounded tonight especially only having four uh, men on the roster, six, eight or taller, and down to three right now. I just kind of want to ask, what's kind of, is there an update on IJ, Azuma, and kind of his uh, status and what's going on? There? Yeah, IJ was unavailable tonight, and, you know, we'll, we'll look forward, you know, see moving forward what happens. But that's, that's rebounding has been a big issue for us. And, you know, we're going to give up something playing small like we did. And, um, you know, when they shoot 39% and 27%, there's going to be a lot of misses. And I thought for the most part of the game, you know, maybe other than the first eight to 10 minutes of the uh, second half, you know, we call them 50 50 balls, those long rebounds, right? We, we, we got to pick those up. And, you know, that's, that's a concern. You know, it's been a concern from the summertime. So we just got to keep looking at it, preaching it, and, um, you know, come up with those game winning plays like we call them. Hey, appreciate y'all coming. Safe night, and uh, see you soon.